Good morning, everyone. I'm Riley King, and welcome to this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. Let's begin. High water levels at New Hampshire lakes, ponds after weeks of rain. Newberry Town Dock underwater as Lake Sunapee reaches new August high. Lakes and ponds throughout New Hampshire are dealing with abominably high water levels after weeks of rain. Newberry Town officials said Lake Sunapee started the season a half inch higher than normal and with last week's heavy rain it's now the highest it has ever been this time of year the newberry town dock is still under water if you stand out there and it's the right way it's it just looks like you're just standing on water. So that's pretty cool, said Newberry Administrative Assistant Pam said. Weeks of rain filled Lake Sunapee and the town put cautious tape to warn anyone who might try to take a walk. It was just a precaution to block it off because you can't see the end of the dock and we don't want anyone walking out there and falling off the end of the dock and getting hurt, Pam said. Town officials said the lake will fill that high in the winter with snow and ice melt but it's really if ever gets that high in the summer and this is the highest it's ever been in August Pam said in the winter sometimes You'll see the dock underwater, but for August, the end of July, it's never been like this. Over in Hopkinton, at Hopkinton's Elm Brook Park, Oregon roadblocks warn people of high water. The boat ramp is off limits, and other than a cement wall in the distance. It's hard to tell where the parking lot and the popular beach for Hopkinton Lake normally begins. If you follow this road behind me, it leads right to our beach, and our beach is about 300 feet long, said Elm Brook Park Ranger Matthew. It's a really nice sandy beach with a swim line around it. Matthew said the lake is doing its job as a flood control project. Seasonally Depending on how much rain or snow we have, this park will flood to hold back water for the Merrimack River, he said. Officials with New Hampshire's Shoreline Protection Program said they haven't received calls about any dock damage, but they are advising people when the water is high to remove any loose items from their 
dogs. And that is it for this morning news report right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you back here later on today for another news report. Goodbye, everyone.